Hey, what's going on, guys? X here, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars The Force Awakens First Order Flame Trooper. I'll uh, give you guys a little 360 of him, then I'll kind of go over the accessories that he does come with. So he comes with a bunch of different hands. Uh, he also comes with a flame that you can put in the flamethrower. And uh, we'll take a better detailed look at all the stuff that he comes with and his articulation uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but first off, as far as hands go, uh, he does come with two hands that are like this. Let's kind of move him to the side. I have one already equipped with him on his left hand, but you can see it's just a open palm. And uh, you can see the nice detail in here. There's an armor piece on here. The rest of this is just painted the black and or the white on top of the black. And everything looks, you know, pretty good. You can see there's some padding on the uh, the inside there. Uh, another hand that he also has equipped as well in his right hand. Uh, this is just kind of like a trigger hand or one to hold the weapon. So if you wanted to put it in his left hand instead of the right hand, uh, you could do that. And you can see, again, there's a nice texture, uh, kind of like a little ribbed texture over here and you can actually feel that uh, and you can see the padding on the inside again the white is really nicely painted on top of this black here and there's the uh, armor piece over there that uh, you know feels like the rest of the armor pieces here it's not just this um, you know same material that they used on the glove so uh, one that is by itself uh, kind of same deal with the hands and the armor piece but it's slightly open it's not a closed fist but it's for the right hand for the left hand this is individually by itself as well uh this is a closed fist and then a hand all by itself uh this is just a open hand so and you can see the uh the padding on there really well You do get, uh, for the wrist, a uh, couple of extra joints. So I guess if those break or you lose them or something like that, you do get an extra set, which is pretty common among, um, you know, these Hot Toys figures. You also get the flame here, which is done really nice. I like how it goes from blue uh, to the bright orange here. Uh, so obviously, you know, the hot section and then, you know, the way fire is the hottest point is always blue so it's going to start right there at the beginning i thought that was a nice little detail and uh, it just looks really cool now the way that uh you would actually equip this on this guy this section if you pull it out you'll see that it is a nicely little detailed piece as well and that just clips on in the front there you can take that off and then we can put that on and uh this is basically what he would look like if he had the flame equipped sitting on the shelf which looks, looks pretty sweet so i'll just give you guys another uh little 360 of him uh all these little armor pieces like this and this right here uh you can see that you know there is a lot of movement on top of the suit with these armor pieces uh so it's just getting them where they need to be also uh this little piece right here uh well the armor piece you know it moves so you get it where it needs to be this right here it can move and go up and down uh the correct location for it i believe is right there to where you have this one uh going down the middle and the other ones are to the outside so i believe that's the uh, correct location for that i can see that he has these two little bags these go back and forth on a little belt so you can position those however you need it and it's supposed to be like right there uh on the uh, the side i believe is the correct location for that you can see that there's a lot of nice details here if we bring it in a little bit closer. Uh, with the back, you can see there's a little chain right here. Uh, you can see some little red things. There's a gauge over here, so we'll take a closer look at that here in a bit. little antenna, some more uh, red, and then you get uh, some nice little, you know, different colors with the silver paint here on the back as well. And even checking out that gun, there's a lot of detail in here where you got some red dots, some silver, uh, the white and black going back and forth. There's some black uh, dots on here, some more silver. Just very nice and highly detailed. All right, so we're going to take this off and I'm going to take the, um, let's see, let's take them off the stand for a moment and take a look at just the, the gun here. So we can take a look at that and the backpack. Now the way that the, the backpack section works here is there's a magnet right here and here. The way you would connect it, you see these two little hooks and you see this back section right here. You just uh, 
put that on there and then that connects just like so you want to make sure and i was reading this in the directions they said that you want to make sure that uh you let it on there softly and not just let the magnets take over and it's you know keep on slapping up against there otherwise you're going to scratch up the armor and the figure and stuff like that so uh, we'll go ahead and take that off take a look at the figure in a moment but taking a closer look at the uh weapon accessories you can see that gun again and that looks really good uh, we'll go ahead and put this little piece back on here you can see that that's got some uh some gold there on the edge now with the uh, backpack section uh this is actually you know separate as well this would connect in here and then this little tube goes up through here and connects into the bottom of the tank uh this section right here this is actually like a, a wire maybe inside and you can bend it however you need to so I, I do like that instead of it just being a hose that would droop uh, and then you you know obviously you would connect it to the bottom of the gun here but you can see that you got that little chain that i was talking about with some little you know nice little details here uh the same here and you can see uh that gauge a little bit better and some of the uh, gold paint uh that's one problem i have this section right here i need to glue that on or something this side's fine, but this side, it, it seems to just keep on coming undone, so. There's a little look at that. And as far as the stand, it's your pretty basic standard. You see Star Wars First Order Flame Trooper. Uh, the logo here, you have the uh, little cradle, the metal section right there. So you can put that wherever you need to. It's two pieces, move that off to the side. And we'll focus in on the uh the flame trooper here the actual figure so as far as the uh the head design goes uh really nicely done uh you can see the uh, silver paint here and then the black panel lining going all the way around the back here uh and also you have the um you know ribbed uh neck piece here let's see if you can see that i'll take the head off you can see that a little bit better and then with the uh, shoulder pieces, that they're actually connected to uh, this armor piece, which is also in the back. Uh, these shoulder are these uh, little biceps. You can see that those rotate. They can go up and down. Uh, this section, you know, they rotate as well. Um, not that they're supposed to, but that they're loose on there. Uh, so whenever you take the hands off, this will usually fall off. The way that they're supposed to be positioned is the inside has this flat section and the round side is on the outside. Uh, so that's the way that you're supposed to do those. Um, you know, just so I was sure on that, you know, I looked at the uh, six inch black line series figure uh, to make sure everything lined up correctly. Uh, same thing here with uh, the thigh armor pieces. You'll see that those will, you know, fall down. Uh, you just need to uh, get them on there where they're supposed to be in place. And same thing down here, you know, these armor pieces, you know, they slide up and down. So you just need to make sure that you have them on there tight with kind of like friction and they'll stay on there pretty good. So as far as the articulation with this guy, you already saw his head was on a ball joint. You know, that moves around however you need to. Uh, let's see, the neck at the bottom of that is actually on a ball joint too. So you can get a lot of movement out of that. Uh, again, with these armor pieces. You can move these shoulders and this kind of just lifts up so this will come up thus far and then you can go forward and back with it this suit is all stitched together all throughout here so uh it's hard to get a ton of movement out of it but you can get the poses that you need to so that he can hold his um you know his weapon or flamethrower again with the biceps the biceps do rotate right here uh, you do have the elbow bend uh, for quite a bit of articulation there. Uh, you can also rotate as well. You'll notice that you have this kind of rubbery plastic, or not rubbery plastic, but just kind of like a, a pleather or leather. And then this has that, you know, ribbed kind of look, uh, the same that you had with the neck. So two different kind of materials right there. Uh, then you have the wrist, which these go back and forth. And well, I'll go ahead and take that off so you can see what, that, what I'm talking about there. So. and get that back on there so uh these rotate they go back and forth however you need to uh, as far as the chest area 
it, it does move and you can go back and forth with it and kind of turn at the waist a, a little bit uh, but it's kind of like a, a, a fat suit um, you can feel it it's squishy in there so uh, it doesn't really move a whole lot for the chest and everything here uh, because of the armor pieces. Also, um, this armor piece kind of slides over the uh, the butt armor. So you're just not getting a whole lot out of this area. But uh, for your basic pose, um, you know, that you want to maybe put the flame trooper in, uh, you can pull that off. But uh, if you're going to try to get more than that, uh, he's going to be a little bit more difficult uh, to mess with. As far as the legs, you know, front, back, you know, sides, again, all this is sewn in together. So you, if you pull on one and the other, you know, you can only go so far. Uh, and it just, it's a victim of having this undersuit all be one piece. So it's not going to give everywhere. And then you have the armor pieces that uh, keep on sliding all over the place. Now going to the legs, you do have a, a thigh cut in here. Like I said, they can go out, they can go back, forward. Uh, you have the knee bend, and then you have the foot articulation to where you can go forward, back, and rotate however you need to. Those have a lot of movement. You can see that this piece right here is also separate on top of the foot. But that's kind of just a, uh, a quick look at the uh, Hot Toys First Order Flame Trooper. I think this guy's uh, pretty cool. I'm only going to go put him on the shelf with my Hot Toys Kylo Ren. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, pick up a few more Hot Toy uh, Star Wars figures in the near future. But anyways, I wanted to show him off. And, you know, whenever you get him all decked out with, you know, his gun and everything, like I kind of showed in the beginning, he's a pretty cool looking figure. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.